I made a sim video about MK1 a little over a year ago and I remember I mentioned the nuisance about the frame stuttering because it goes from 30 to 60 instantly and because of that the game stutters. There's no reason why the menu or even the cutscenes have to run at such low frame rate. The fact that NRS didn't fix that after a number of patches just makes me want to do this. Let's go back to MK9. Remember the 300 tower challenge? I remember the weeks it took me to finally reach the 300th challenge. Remember the crypt mode in MKX? How about the conquest mode in MK11? What does MK1 have? Invasion which is the snooze fest? It's not exciting and it's just repetitive. MK1 is the least creative game out of the franchise. That opinion is not only formed by me but many of the old school MK fans. Now magic this potent is expensive. And I am sure you're asking yourselves, can I afford it? But the true question you must ask is, can I afford to be without it? You lie, Shang Tsung. Your cures are useless. I'm sorry, you are. Someone fool enough to have believed you. My daughter was dying when you came to my farm. You promised a miracle, and I gave you all I had. But only days later, she was dead. <laughs> that is impossible. My magic could not have failed her. There the man just said his daughter died, and you're going to argue that she's fine? I'm surprised someone didn't expose Shang Tsung sooner. He's a horrible salesman, and his lies are obvious. Madame Bo is supposed to be Baracho, right? Why didn't we get him instead? He was Lu's teacher. You have the majority of the main MK cast remade from Lu's image. Why not Baraicho? Thank you, Madam Bo. You spoil us. Like the sons I never had. As long as you pay. Have you two been practicing my lessons? As we can. The harvest leaves us little time for martial arts. Since your first words, Kung Lao, you've mouthed nothing but excuses. If you fail to prepare... Your preparations will fail you. Good. You haven't forgotten, but we'll see if I make you anything special tonight. I'm glad you're paying. Madame Bo might just pad the bill with her anger. I am paying? You finished work last. But I delivered my cart first. Doesn't matter if you delivered your cart first. The bet was whoever fills their cart last pays for dinner. This comes from your own mouth. Dinner at Madame Bo's tonight. Last to fill their cart pays. <laughs> Yeah, you know how it is. Always have to celebrate people fighting in a bar or a restaurant. Somehow, Raiden will not lose his arms due to his arms being frozen for an X amount of time. Madame Bo, she's out cold. Oh no, is she dead? Not yet. If that horrible voice acting wasn't sinful enough, Kun Lao asking if she's dead when Raiden just says she's out cold definitely is. Madame Bo, how are you? Kung Lao. So, Madame Bo, are they ready? I don't know what's most sinful, the fact that both Raiden and Kung Lao will be nominated to be Earth's champion when really they're just two farm boys who've been trained by Madame Bo, or the fact that the protector of Earthrealm doesn't know if those two are ready. Protector of Earthrealm. God? Earthrealm? Madame Bo has been preparing you for this moment since you were boys. Yet they don't know any of the basic knowledge of the realms. You have proven worthy of joining my champions. Why? Because they beat two warriors who were told to hold back? Had the Lin Kuei fall viciously, both Kun Lao and Raiden would be finished. So these two aren't thugs? The Lin Kuei is a centuries old clan dedicated to Earthrealm's defense. You keep saying Earthrealm, don't you mean Earth? You boys have so much to learn. You do realize it was your job to teach them, right? Fake Indiana Jones. Only in the entertainment universe can two giant stone doors slide open. Kalima? They're real? Somehow the director and producers made a variant of Natara without knowing she's a real character in the MK universe. This will be worth millions. It belongs in a museum. So you're telling me you're going to risk your life for some artifact to hang it up in a museum? Talk about a waste of time and effort. You're not the martial arts megastar you once were, honey. 
You're lucky Steven owed you a favor. I'm telling you, Chris. We're fine. Can you join me in the fact-based universe just once? We're broke. Johnny is known to make horrible movies, yes. But he just finished filming one, which means he should have money in the bank. Someone please make this make sense. I need a refill. Johnny, we can't keep this up. You spent 10000 on that sculpture, 30000 on that drone, and this damn sword. Three million dollars? Hey, Cento is history. That sword comes from- Ugh, That's not the point, Johnny! Chris, honey, the parts, the money, they're coming. Steven's movie is just the beginning. That's why I can't cut back. To be a success, I have to project it. If I don't, Johnny Cage is done. And the award of the worst investor goes to Johnny Cage. Spend your money on things that will not make money. If you want to continue being rich, you have to invest in valuable things that will become a passive income. How do you like that, Mr. A-List? <laughs> Thank God. Oh, Chris, honey, I... Where's my wife? What did you... Your wife left. She's fine. You will be too, if you cooperate. What do you want? Sento. You know you could have just grabbed the sword when Johnny wasn't looking, right? You broke into someone's home just to politely ask for the sword your ancestors owned? Kenshi is one of those characters that could have been written so much better in MK1. They've been dead for centuries. Not dead. Hiding. With Sento in my hands, I'll lead us out of the shadows. That's a great plan, stranger. Except for one thing, Sento's mine. And I won't give it up without a fight. The fact that Kenshi lost even though he has a katana with him is unworthy of being part of the roster. I hope you're insured, because you're paying for my hachumi. Imbecile, you have no idea with whom you're dealing. You don't know who you're dealing with, cliche. Ah, uh, that's no special effect. Oh really? Lou had to show you he's actually a god for you to believe. If I'm fighting someone and he shoots ice at me, I'm going to think this guy has powers and I'm going to stop the fight right there. But the biggest sin here is the fact that Johnny Cage, an actor who learned basic martial arts, actually defeated two Lin Kuei fighters trained since birth. I don't think NetherRealm Studios can make sense out of that. That is not a good idea. It is genius, Raiden. The next time we see Sub-Zero, I will have to thank him for inspiring it. Ow. See? It won't be effective. Kun Lao has mastered his bladed hat without hurting himself. Talk about being a pro without being a beginner. That's how it gets done. My ex will rue the day she gave up on me. <sighs> so selfless. Oh please, Tattoo. You're just here to get your sword back. We all have our reasons for being here. Some better than others. But we are not here to fight among ourselves. We are here to fight for Earthrealm. It's about damn time. And today, one of you will be chosen to fight for it at the tournament. Only one of us, Lord Liu Kang? Isn't Outworld fielding several champions? The tournament's rules give the host realm that advantage. And it is Outworld's turn as host. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't the Mortal Kombat tournament based on multiple Earthrealm fighters? Remember MK9? Earthrealm was dead fight, but it was all of Earthrealm that fought together. Twice. Here it's just one fighter. Also, let's go through all these fights. So Raiden used to get his ass beat by Kun Lao. He even said this in that bar fight. You haven't beaten me yet. The day's coming, Kun Lao. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. The fact that Raiden finally improved enough to beat Kun Lao isn't a sin at all, but we need to go through the entire tournament. His first fight would be against Li Mei, someone who used to be the personal bodyguard of the Emperor. Now even Xiao was given that honor. Then Raiden has to fight Reiko, someone who fought in wars and has years of experience. He even states that Raiden is way too inexperienced to be in this fight, which I completely agree, but plot armor overpowers all. In whose army have you served? In what wars? Have you fought? I have done neither. Then you are woefully unprepared, Earthrealmer. This 
will be your last battlefield. But here's the part of the chapter that perplexes me beyond comprehension. Raiden will defeat Katana, someone who has been alive for 10,000 years. She confirmed it herself. Are you 10,000 years old? Oh, talk about aging gracefully. Katana wasn't even supposed to be the one fighting Raiden. Melina is sick, so Katana's taking her place. Sindel tried becoming a Democrat by rigging the fight without informing Lou. Your Majesty, this is unprecedented. Raiden's next opponent should be your heir. Melina is unavailable. She's away on pressing Imperial business. But I have not prepared him to battle Katana. He's already demonstrated great skill. Can he not improvise? And even with that, Katana, someone who's been in combat for thousands of years, lost to Raiden, someone who trained with monks for a little bit of time. If that's not bad enough, Raiden embarrassed General Shao. Netherrealm Studios, you guys have become incredibly dense with these characters. You guys don't even know your own characters now. You created me in your own image. Duty is my highest calling. While I am glad you are here, you are not one for social calls. Is there trouble with the hourglass? With something it has shown me. What, Geras? When you restarted history, you altered the destinies of certain malefactors to neutralize them. At least one of them is defying that destiny. Shang Tsung. Go on. He has escaped his meaningless life and is on his way to becoming a powerful sorcerer. But why are you just now telling him this? And if you're now learning this from the hourglass, why was it so late? Shang Tsung and Quan Chi have been in Sindao's ear for some time now. This talisman is attuned to Shang Tsung's chi. Follow it to him. And be careful. May the Elder Gods protect you. Are you talking about the Elder Gods that decided to help once you and most of the MK9 roster were killed? Or maybe you mean the Elder Gods that proved to be more useless in the next two games? Speaking of which, where are they now? The wound will heal in time. It is a small price to pay for progress. I don't know why Baraka doesn't use his blades to kill Shang Tsung. No doubt blocking wouldn't be enough for him since he'll be cut into pieces. Mortal Kombat story never makes sense when it needs to. We have to save Shang Tsung. Liu Kang needs him alive. No he doesn't. Shang Tsung will be one less threat to face in the end. Keeping him alive will only make things worse. <laughs> Those Sarkans literally saw Shang Tsung shapeshift, yet they will not try to kill him. Even if they're really that stupid, I'm still counting this as a sin. <sighs> you got us into this. How about getting us out? I know what this looks like, but we don't work for Shang Tsung. If not, why save him? Because Liu Kang, Earthrealm's protector, wants to question him. He thinks Shang Tsung may be a threat to both our realms. I'm Kenshi Takahashi. Our kind do not shake hands. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend. Don't you know what we are? No, we don't. We are victims of Tarkat. The disease is not easily gotten, but you can't risk more close exposure. That's odd given the fact that you literally finished fighting them and will be locked in a cell with them for quite some time, yet none of them will be infected. <laughs> I remember sending this part previously, and I'm going to send it again. There is no way those daggers didn't pierce Kenshi's brain. Or at the very least, he should have died from massive blood loss. Due to gaming logic, anything can go. Though it's not getting a pass for me. By the gods! Melina! What's happened here, sorcerer? These men were sent to disrupt your sister's treatment and scandalize Outworld by revealing her illness. What? 
That's totally fake news. Johnny over here listens to Donald Trump way too much. But she must realize that this incident proves Earthrealm's bad faith. We must strike them now to protect ourselves. No. no they would not do this. There must be a misunderstanding. It is no misunderstanding, princess. How were you listening to this conversation when you weren't even here? Kill the Earthrealmers. They cannot report back to Liu Kang. Yet they will remain in the cell for some reason. How is he? His eyes are gouged out. Guess. That will dull the pain. It's a bit perplexing knowing that this place is solely for torturing prisoners, yet there are healing aids right by their cell. How convenient. I shall return soon to check progress. I have other matters to which I must attend. You don't have to do this! It's either you or my family. You know what's confusing about this? They are placed in a cell to be taken out of it just to be thrown in single cells. I'm trying to make sense out of that. We are leaving. Then kill me. If I die, maybe he'll spare my family. No, I won't murder you. It's mercy, not murder. Not that what I've done deserves yours. You are protecting your family. I would have done the same. I have to give credit where credit is due. They gave Barack a really good character change. This man was a professional salesman until he caught the disease and was banished. Even after all that, this man still has his morals. Sizoth, you fool. Don't blame him now. Did you really think Sizoth and a bunch of jabroni Tarkines were enough to take down characters with plot armor? We can't linger. We'll be captured. We need help getting Kenshi to the portal at Sundo. I can take you only to the city's gate. Tarkatans are forbidden inside. I'll see you the rest of the way. It's the least I can do to make amends. Now that his family is dead, he will continue through the story with no depression issues or even mention his family again. <laughs> what is that? Just keep swimming. So, who's our femme fatale? I am Ashra, demon of the Netherrealm. Demon? You look human. Mostly. And what's a nether realm? The monks covered that with us. Did you sleep through every lesson? Kenshi here actually thought Johnny paid attention during class. Darius and I have been thinking, sorcerer. Do not try to renegotiate, Havoc. We need proof that you'll deliver. That he's delivered for Natara's Vaternians is all the proof you need. Serena's right. Because of Quan Chi's magic, my realm's people are no longer poisoned by sunlight. We've finally escaped the shadows. I've said this before and I'm doing it again. Mankis Fox's talent to act is as good as Kamala Harris's skill to publicly speak in front of the country. She sounds like she's reading off a script. At least everyone else put in some effort. This is just embarrassing. Whoa there, big fella. This stops where you get off. You heard her. Millions could die. Which is why we don't want you tripping us up out there. Now, give me your sword. Why? Just give it. What? I can't. Not when you've you saved my life. Let's talk about the sword real quick. What was the reason Johnny brought the sword with him? There wasn't any. This is just poorly written plot demands because Senta will randomly sink with Kenshi when the moment calls for it. That blade's enchanted. It was forged to destroy evil. It's slain many of your vampire kind. We can't help what we are. 
that we feed on blood doesn't make us evil. You want to say that when you're not aiding an evil sorcerer that is trying to create something that will kill tens of millions of innocent lives? My god, it's a soulnado. Anyone care to tell me why everyone around the Soulnado is still on their feet? Correct me if I'm wrong, but the Soulnado is supposed to steal the soul out of every living thing around it, right? This is actually pretty damn sick, but Ermac was told to kill his opponents, yet he holds back because you can't kill the main characters, you know? Remember what Ermac did to Jax? Ermac. Gotcha! You're going to tell me this Ermac can't do the same here? Resistance is never pointless. We are many. You are one. We will destroy you. What's wrong with him? Combat must have weakened the magic that binds his souls together. Sindel, I'll find you. What was that? Watch him. I'll shut down the soul steel. What do you mean, watch him? He's probably the most dangerous enemy you can face, and yet he's not killed immediately? It's unlike Shen Tsung to leave loose ends. And it's unlike you to lose the characters like Reptile. What Johnny and Kenshi report should not be possible. You witnessed how I rewrote history. I gave the sorcerers meaningless lives. They should have never gained power. You know, it makes me question, why even give them lives in the first place? Giving sorcerers meaningless lives will only give them more willpower to be greater than what they were. How long are we expected to linger? Patience, Bihan. There are many demands on Liu Kang's attention. Were he here, father would advise us to wait without protest. But now he is gone, and I am Grand Master. His teachings did not pass with him. They should still guide us. Guide us, yes. Shackle us, no. We can't abandon tradition. Mind your place, Tomas. Father may have taken you in, made you one of us, but your blood will never be Lin Kuei. I honestly question how this actor spoke like this throughout the entire development of MK1. I get trying to give a type of character that speaks arrogance and brute leadership, but Sub-Zero sounds like he's been smoking for multiple lifetimes. As a boy, I heard tales of battles against your kind. I had fought them tall ones. All Earth Realmers will soon know of Eternus. My realm starves, and it's coming here to feed. What were you saying about your people not being evil? We can't help what we are. That we feed on blood doesn't make us evil. You still think you and your people aren't on the evil side? Yeah, there's no way Shang Tsung didn't see those two while walking into this place. As our ally, you will be given command of several battalions. Few in Earthrealm could then resist the Lin Kuei. How could you? Father would turn in his grave if he saw this. He was a doddering old fool. He did us a favor having that accident. And I was right to let him die. Let him die? You said you tried to save him. A lie. 
Because you couldn't and still can't face the truth. Father had doomed the Lin Kuei to mediocrity. Now, we will achieve greatness. This was a sick fight and all, but you're contradicting yourself here. First of all, if you were able to take out Sub-Zero, Shang Tsung, and General Shell, then why were you so easily captured? Not only that, you literally melted someone's head off like butter. Why didn't you do the same with Shao just now? And lastly, you could have just done this to everyone and most of Earthrealm's problem would have been solved. <laughs> Wally Liang definitely had his head in the pot of lava. He shouldn't even have eyes right now since the plot decided not to fully heal the guy that can regrow his limbs after pulling it off to throw it at his opponent. Kui Liang! Save that definitely should have taken his eye out. Where to begin? Am I to kneel to my creator? Do you expect worship? No, your majesty. My prior role was thrust upon me by circumstance. I am in no way divine. You had power over all of creation, yet you gave it up. Because I saw how it drove Kronika mad. I knew I would fare no better had I kept it. To this day, that statement contradicts his training with the monks. Lu trained his whole human life and he's saying he will lose control just like Kronika? It's even more perplexing when later Lu will again be a titan and he will handle his position perfectly fine. Thanks to you, Earthrealm blood is already on my hands. Well, not really because you haven't killed any Earthrealmers. Shen. Don't move. Empress, everyone, stay back. What is it? The Amulet of Shinnok, a weapon of terrifying power. It should not exist. Its maker is powerless, as Liu Kang designed. Okay, there's a couple things wrong here. One, Shao took way too long to use that amulet. One super, he would've won this whole thing. Two, you're telling me Liu created Shinnok? Why? If Shinnok is powerless like Shang Tsung in the beginning, why didn't Titan Shang Tsung go to powerless Shinnok? He's much more powerful than Shang Tsung and proves to be much more useful. Also, why would this amulet exist if Shinnok is powerless? Someone please make... I'm saying this. We are ready. And the soul stealers. Keep them running. I am sure we'll find a use for the collected souls. Wait, where are you getting all these souls from? We didn't see anyone die and got their souls stolen. The living force has a limited number of souls, so the fact that Shang Tsung has more than enough souls is questionable. Stay behind me, princess. No, we fight together. Tanya ate that rock with her neck. Somehow she can still fight. This is another example of Ermac being an idiot when he can easily kill them both. But of course, somehow Melina is strong enough to beat him. Father, is it truly you? Yes, Melina. This body was created from the living forest souls. Mine was one of them. Your attack broke the spell that binds us. Now, I am in control. Father! 
You are Umgadi, but not Li Mei. I replaced her after your death, Your Majesty. She left the Order rather than accept punishment. Punishment? It was not her fault. A discussion for another time, Father. Actually, that's something I'm curious to know more of. When you skip little details like this, but continue to show little details about Melina and Tanya, it just screams bad writing. Get this woke agenda out of games and bring back good stories. Shang Tsung. Princess Melina. I bring news from Outworld. Sindel is deposed. General Shao now rules. And yet you are still free. To succeed, the General needed help on the inside. I provided it. The heir to the throne gives it up willingly. <laughs> it is a burden I've never wanted. The realm is better left in General... Uh, Emperor Shao's hands. A most mature perspective. Outworld benefits from your wisdom. Yes, Shang Tsung, it does. But not in the manner that you expect. So we're not going to question how she managed to break into this place? There were a number of guards and none of them saw Melina? Two brilliant sorcerers and they fall for Melina's lie? <laughs> Liu Kang is having trouble with these moving statues when Kwai Liang handled multiple statues with ease. I took this form and infiltrated your timeline. I elevated these wretches, giving them great power. Together, they sowed discord among the realms and assembled for me the Dragon Army. I led them to believe they were aiding my conquest of Earthrealm and Outworld. But my intent is to exterminate all life in this timeline and then merge it into my own. You promised us realms. Now you leave us to slaughter. You were pawns, not partners. Your purpose served. You will be sacrificed. We served you loyally. Built you the Dragon Crown. This? This is a toy. I do not need it to control the Dragon Army. Only the souls contained within. So in MK11, the crown was made to have unlimited power. What happened to that crown? I've played this game from start to finish three times and I haven't heard anything about it. What's funny is that even Shang Tsung from MK11 doesn't use that crown in this game. He needed that crown to be as powerful as he is now. But we're just going to act as if the crown never happened. Goodbye, Liu Kang. Neither you nor your timeline will be missed. Shang Tsung, you are currently way more powerful than anyone here. You can easily get rid of anyone that has the chance to stop you later on. Don't you think it's best if you finish what you started? No? Okay. Your tenacity is to be admired. Until our last breaths are taken. As long as blood flows through our veins. We are not beaten. <laughs> Noble sentiments. Which in the end matter little. None of you will leave here alive. There's a couple of things wrong here. One, Sindel threw Sindel to the floor when she could have stabbed her and killed her. Also, this timeline Sindel actually put up a fight when evil Sindel literally washed everyone. Mother, you can't go. Not yet. It's my time, dear. It's not your time. I don't know if you realize that since you're not dying from sickness. Hey, Lou, you want to help out here? No? This man proves to be more useless every time he's given screen time. It is time. It will be the end of all things. Armageddon. Referencing the game I'd much rather be playing right now. These meddling minions. Wait, all of a sudden Scorpion doesn't have a brain? 
he couldn't just shoot his spear through Raiden's head? Yes, yes, I know. The game doesn't demand it. It's still annoying. Are you ready to begin the search? Ready enough. May there be other timelines and titans to find. Okay, this segment of the game is perplexing enough to be an all-in-one sin. Liu Kang didn't even know there was endless timeline. The man just teleported Katana without even knowing how to bring her here. Makes me question why Shang Tsung went through all this trouble if he could've just ambushed Liu Kang with an overwhelming amount of evil titans before Liu even learned about the chance to unite timelines. But Liu brings in several titans and Shang Tsung brings his minions which aren't even titans. Titans are supposed to be so strong that even Elder Gods can't dream of beating one, right? Why are Shang Tsung minions holding their own against actual titans? But here comes evil Liu. Shang Tsung already killed Liu Kang so how does he even exist? If Shang Tsung created him like Liu created his timeline, why was evil Liu created? Liu Kang is supposed to be the champion of Earthrealm. But now instead of forcing Shang Tsung off the hourglass, Garrus tries to match a titan which he can't do on his own. But what gets me the most is the fact that Liu allowed Shang Tsung and his minions to leave. Why? You could have just killed them all now. How did they all come from? When did Lu have the time to gather so many people? How did he know where to meet Shang Tsung? So many questions yet no answers. The fact that I couldn't even use a single DLC character pissed me off. What a waste. So the devs have smoke in the game but we don't get to play as this version from MKX. Oh okay, so it does kill. Good to know. Your defenses have failed Shang Tsung. This is over. I do not think so. Realize, sorcerer, that you've brought this on yourself. Avarice and Ego have again proved your undoing. About that, how does Shang Tsung persuade other evil titans to follow him? They're just as powerful. He can't possibly beat multiple titans against him. Trying to dissect Mortal Kombat games will fry your brain cells. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, the fact that Liu Kang was captured by Quan Chi and isn't killed or the fact that other timeline Liu beat both Shang Tsung and Quan Chi when 2 minutes ago Shang Tsung made Liu eat his foot. So we can already see this will be W Games marketing tactics, release the game this year and finish the story next year. But of course we will charge them more money so we can earn more revenue. Business wise I can respect it, but as a fan I'm just losing. Cool moveset, too bad you won't see it again after this segment. Seriously, nobody sees these ninjas moving slowly with 70% of their body exposed? Don't worry, I've got you. Why isn't she a playable character? Make no mistake, we are here because of your treachery. Are you ready, brother, to reap the reward of your faithlessness? Ah. Uh. Cyrax, take him. Yes, Grand Master. Stand aside. I told you this isn't your fight. You want him? You must kill me. If she makes it necessary, grant her wish. You know Bihan is wrong, that he acts without honor. No, it is Kwai Liang who's betrayed the Lin Kuei. Uh, uh, that is a lie spoken by the man who let my father perish. 
What? So impatient to lead, to make the Lin Kuei his. My brother went even further. He broke his sacred oath and sided with outsiders against Earthrealm. No, that, that is impossible. Did I have this when last we saw each other? Who do you think is responsible? Grandmaster, is this true? Every word. You knew about this, didn't you? I share his vision for the Lin Kuei. We won't be bound by Liu Kang's limits. Breaking our traditions, our vows, I won't stand for it. Which is why we kept you from the truth. Now that you know, you are a threat to the Lin Kuei. And you must be imprisoned alongside my brother. Hey, Bihan, didn't you say you will be ready when she learns the truth? She will learn the truth about Kuai Liang. We will be ready when she does. Once Cyrex learned the truth, she single-handedly stopped the Lin Kuei's attack. How was that being ready? How was I fooled by your lies? An excellent question, Cyrex. Kuai Liang. I have no words. In my heart, I doubted this mission. But in the rush to prove myself, I... That's no excuse. No, it is not. Hey, Kua Liang, she saved your wife's life, and she also saved yours once she learned the truth. I get your wedding was ruined and almost lost everything, but she kind of does have an excuse. Interlopers from yet another timeline. Yes, but whose? Not. I finally meet the man who inspired my life's work. Thank you, Lord Liu Kang. Spare me the theatrics, Havoc. Explain. I fought against you at the Pyramid, alongside Titan Shang Tsung. He no, you didn't. You arrived with your men once the whole fight was over. Havoc is literally swinging his head around and hitting them. He has spikes on his head, yet nobody seems to be bleeding. I'm trying to make sense out of that. They will not escape. So you mean to tell me you've just been standing there watching them take years away? Tanya, detain her. Empress, perhaps she has earned mercy. She aided us in combat. Only because we faced a common foe. She was complicit in Mother's death. No, she wasn't. She had nothing to do with the original MK1 story. That was purely Bihan who betrayed everyone for more power. You're letting that power of being kind get to your head. If first infused with their time crystals. <laughs> Ah, he has brains to go with his brawn. Shouldn't you have captured Liu Kang? Why capture Gyrus? Because he is the only being who has lived in all prior timelines. Which means the time crystals within him contain the building blocks of all current timelines. Once my Kamidogu are infused with them, I will have the power to remake all timelines as I see fit. Condemning us all to anarchy. Not condemned. Elevated. Perfected. As you will be once I'm finished. This is Mortal Kombat. 
You can rip your opponent's arms off and see the tendons rip one by one, but you can't see Sub Zero being turned into Noob Cybot because reasons. He doesn't want freedom. He wants to burn everything down, smashing timelines together so he can watch them fight. Our havoc is less crazed because I recrafted his destiny when I restarted time. Meeting Titan Havoc proves it was wise I did. First that Shang Tsung, now this Havoc? Will the threats from these Titans never cease? Tell me, how do we escape this crisis? We must rescue Gyrus before Havoc takes from him what he needs. I will dispatch several legions. Katana Your Majesty, they are needed. Melina constantly shows why she is not fit to rule our world. She's too quick to execute someone without any hesitation. Now she's thinking of sending troops to Havoc's realm without knowing what Havoc is truly capable of. The man just embarrassed Titan Liu Kang like he's used to killing a bunch of Titans. Damn you ugly. Somehow that doesn't burn Johnny's hand. But as sinful as that is, let's talk about Johnny real quick. Why is he here? I get this is another timeline, but out of all characters we're seeing Johnny, this would have been a great opportunity to show other characters we haven't seen in years. Maybe a younger version of Sujinko, maybe Hotaro, hell, maybe even Cobra. Stop using the same old characters, I'm so sick of seeing Johnny. <laughs> that hammer didn't break Johnny's spine, and he gets back up after a hit like that? Well done, husband. We have them. They fight like Reiko and Li Mei. How? Reiko doesn't swing a hammer and Lee Mei doesn't use her hair to fight. That doesn't even make any sense. Tanya, if Sector opens the door, go with her. No! I won't. You must. I cannot hold these back much longer. I won't escape. Rain. I. You need to I will admit, Mortal Kombat has never looked so good before. Yes, I'm aware this is the most recent Mortal Kombat game, but this definitely deserves a merit. Mama failed to detect that too? It is not programmed for dragons. But it is programmed to sense heartbeats or any sign of life, right? So because it's a dragon, does that mean your suit can detect life within the dragon? Belly. Or in his vanished. These outfits for Katana and Melina are just not it. Besides, what's Jade? She's Katana's best friend. She was in the last game as well. Why is she not here? Everyone, stand back. This will not do! It was wrong, Havoc. You're mad that you've lost this fight? Whatever happened to anarchy and chaos? You wanted this to be a surprise. This is your surprise, and because it's not on your side, you don't like it? I would have given it a merit if Havoc would have accepted the outcome. Fall off the pathways, and you will fall forever. Allow the Brotherhood of Chaos to help you on your way. There's never been a Mortal Kombat game where Noob Saibot has been such a beast, but this design is not it. I mean, everything is fine, but that headpiece looks absolutely ridiculous. The foundry door is up ahead. Lead on, Empress. Wait. What, Sector? Bihan is here, defending Havoc. Defending him? Is there no low he won't sink to? He is not himself. His mind has been broken. That may be so. But if he gets in our way... We have to bring him back, so we can undo the evil that's been done to him. Only if it won't jeopardize the mission. You would leave him to die? Have you no respect? 
I'm sorry, is that surprising? Bihan literally tried killing his own brother multiple times. He had to Lin Kuei ambush his wedding and almost had Kwai Lian's wife killed. You were under his orders, therefore you were upset Cyrax stopped the murder of Kwai Lian's wife. Maybe you've forgotten about allowing his own father to die to gain control of the Lin Kuei? But what about Bihan is redeemable? The Lin Kuei's elder arcanist knows nothing of Havoc's magic. Liu Kang is your only hope. You should not have plotted against him. You refuse to help? He's your brother. Kwai Liang has forgotten how to honor his family. Can somebody please throw off the pit so she can fall forever? No? She's not here! Now, Giras, we have them. <laughs> Villain shows how evil he is by killing his own man, cliche. <sighs> Raiding my citadel, stealing my Kamidogu. Your warriors are adept at creating chaos. So good of you to approve. Approve? You dare to throw my plans into disarray? <laughs> the only chaos you revere is yours. You are no zealot. You are a hypocrite. <sighs> the Kamidogu are powered, and I am ready. Nothing can stop me from seizing this timeline. Kung Fu Keiji! To me now! I go myself! <laughs> okay, there's a couple things wrong here. One, is this an opponent of Dragon Ball Z to Nami where all the Z fighters is just watching their opponent raise their power level to an unmatched level? Everybody's just standing there watching. Also, what the hell is this? Is this supposed to be MK's version of Infinity Stones and Gauntlet? I remember the Kami Dogo from Mortal Kombat Deception, but definitely not like this. Lastly, what stopped you from doing this before? Havoc is a character that seeks absolute power. He is able, but I will take him. What is more important, winning this fight or protecting your ego? You win the fight by killing them. They're not going to stop. This is Mortal Kombat. When the whole entire timeline is at stake, you remove every single threat that came to you. <laughs> Okay, so Takeda can be part of the DLC for a simple minute, but we can't use him in the story. But of course, we'll use Rain and Tani, who weren't even part of the DLC roster. I have them. An impressive display. One does not trifle with gods. Oh, shut the hell up. Shang Tsung and Quan Chi messed around in your timeline, and what did you do to stop it? As a matter of fact, where are they now? Of course, we will not get an answer to that for some reason. This timeline will not succumb to chaos. Its beings are not meant to live that way. Meant to? There are no sacred laws, no divine rules. I choose what is right because I hold the power. And I choose to bless all beings everywhere with anarchy. <laughs> Alright, so I have a question. 
When Havoc's minions ripped their arms off in the arena, why didn't those arms form into fully formed bodies? A battle I never lose. A battle between titans. Not this time, Havoc. This time, you battle me. Hold on. This is bringing me back to MKX where Cassie defeated full power Shinnok, which was an elder god. Someone who folded both Raiden and Fujin, two very powerful gods. Noob actually beating Havoc is even worse. Yes, Noob is strong. Most likely stronger than any Noob Saibot version. But he shouldn't be able to defeat a Titan. Titans are much stronger than any elder god that has existed in Mortal Kombat universe. Let me remind you, Noob got knocked out by Tanya and Cyrax. Two characters that would have easily been killed by Havoc had they fought. But what's even worse is the fact that Havoc is using power of the Kami Dogu. I don't understand how Havoc lost this fight. What's going on? Those limbs that were ripped off won't regrow into fully developed bodies? How come Havoc doesn't regrow his limbs back? Who came up with this garbage? Also, notice how Havoc seems to be in pain. When he ripped his limbs off, he did it with ease. He never even grunted from the pain. Yeah, you would think it's painful to rip your own limbs off, but this is the first time we see him in pain. So I guess it's painless if he does it, but if someone else rips his limbs off, then it hurts? Kill innocent millions. That is not our concern. Ours is only this- uh, no. I have had my fill of your selfishness. Liu Kang, I will not- Be on. No, not this fight. Garrus, you couldn't do that in the beginning? Where was this ability when you were being taken to Havoc's timeline? And that's it. Nothing is shown after the credits. Sure, I expected something, but this just shows we won't be seeing anything for Mortal Kombat for a good while. I like to keep it that way since Mortal Kombat 1 felt rushed. The story was crap and offline challenges such as Invasion were mega crap. Netherrealm Studios, this time, take your time. You got some very smart people in the studio. You can definitely come up with a 10 out of 10 story. One does not trifle with gods. you said before? I'm always with you too. I'll come back to you. I promise. I know you will. Look out! Wow! Goofy! No! Utterly useless and forgotten. Are you kidding? Do you know how popular I am? I got loads of people rooting for me. Sorry, boss. No one axes Axel. Got it memorized?